Good day, everyone. Here, let's hear from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today, we'll be talking about Zip once again. A lot of our VIP members and members from our free Facebook community asking us what do we think about Zip as the stock is currently trading at a very critical level. It is trying to break out a re multi-year resistance. I want to explore in this video what a breakout looks like and what are the key uh, technical indicators that we need to look at to confirm a potential breakout and the risks involved in buying after a, a breakout. Let's have a look. Remember, this is not a financial advice, just as from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply BGS20 strategy together with our VP members to chase 20 to 40% profit within one to three month time. How we set up targets, stop losses. How uh, we avoid buying stocks at the FOMO area. And that is to do with zip as well at the current level. And much more. So if you like, please subscribe to the channel and I would like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, post a lot of great quality content and um, uh, stock analysis. Uh, even today we have actually put a little um, description of uh, what we think about Zip, but I thought it would be great to bring this on the YouTube as well. Now, let's uh, first of all, uh, take a look on, um, that's gonna be a very straightforward video because uh, we wanna take a look on a technical aspect. From the fundamental uh, analysis, uh, Zip has been improving year on year. It's not, uh, probably not gonna be a net profitable company in FY24, but the, the macroeconomics, uh, macroeconomic metrics that we're looking at, which is uh, inflation decline and uh, interest rates a cut, are there but not there yet. So uh, the, this rally that uh, we have uh, been, um, uh, that we have profit, profit uh, last year and early this year, this huge rally here, that was on the back of potential six or six interest rate cut in the US, which didn't happen. Uh, potentially we're going to have one only in September and most likely no interest rate cut in Australia if we don't have an interest rate hike. Let's hope for that not to happen. <laughs> and um, anyway, so um, which brings us back to, um, uh, to, to, to from, from the macroeconomic aspect, we are good but not great. Not as great we were at the uh, uh, end of last year. Okay, and now also we gotta consider that uh, Zip is not incredibly discounted anymore. It's actually trading in the formal area. This is a red flag for anyone buying zip now it doesn't mean that stock could rally further but it is a red flag and i have to bring this into your attention because we buy stocks that are trading considerably above the long-term moving average and even uh, above the short-term moving average it means the stock is trading at a formal levels okay now there was some a uh, couple of chances of buying zip here which was when zip was down uh, like low one dollars like one dollar uh, under one dollar ten um then um, then obviously uh we were we were originally expecting uh, to buy zip at technically discounted discounted price for the long term as well we didn't happen we might happen on the reporting season depending how the market perceives fy24 full year report now this is the thing uh looking from if you put all the indicators that we use here first of all the rsi as you can see the rsi was looking bearish but then we had this breakout to the upside that, that was the breakout i'm talking about uh so that the downtrend that bearish divergence has been broken which is good which is positive for zip now we have here a multi uh multi year if you go to the weekly chart if you look at here back in 2022, Zip has uh, even reached 170, but I have actually have consolidated around $1.50, which is still what we call multi-year uh, uh, resistance. And then has tested, has gone $1.59 intraday back in March, but then 
came down to one dollar and then uh, up again and one that uh, came down to one dollar again, which he, uh, uh, which now is um, testing this uh, multi-year resistance level again. Okay, from the. Uh, from the last six months chart formation, here are a couple of things I want to indicate for you. A double bottom formation right here, okay, which is positive, that's constructive. Then I like to indicate in, uh, everything is constructive, I like indicating as a green. So this is constructive, okay. Um, then the RSI as well has broken this bearish divergence and now we are into um, uh, a, a, a bullish potential bullish formation and then uh this uh high uh high volumes um trying to uh, break out like on the upside so green candles on the high volumes this is exactly what we want to see however uh for uh now exploring a, a proper breakout according to past experience past uh, uh similar uh, breakouts ideally we want to see a breakout with a huge volume a very considerably higher volume than uh, than the other days. So yes, we are having a high volume here, but ideally, I would like to see uh, at least a double uh, of a double of the volume by the end of the day. If that is confirmed, and uh, and, and zip closes considerably above one dollar fifty, so say one dollar fifty five to one dollar sixty, which ideally you want to see zip closing at the highest. Uh, price of the day, then I would be uh, very confident that we have a, a breakout of this multi-year $1.50 uh, resistance level. However, if that doesn't happen, if zip still close around $1.50 and this rally, which is now at the 9% uh, per up, um, it, it reached uh, $1.57 and then now $1.54, if this rally fades, then uh, then that's no good. Then we could see a few more days attempting to break out and maybe not breaking today, but maybe tomorrow and after tomorrow, who knows. Uh, but we also could see a potential uh, downside. And if we, if we see a downside, that's no good at all because then we're going to have a double top here. Double top is never good uh, a, a technical formation, all right? Now, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so high volume, uh, big green candle. For me, I wanna, I really wanted to see, uh, in order to be buying tomorrow, okay, I wanted to see zip closing well above one dollar fifty-five, hopefully around one dollar fifty, uh, one dollar fifty-nine, one dollar sixty. That would be a massive green tick. Buying, likely to see institutional investors buying into as well. That's that's what generally happens. Uh, but if it doesn't happen, then I don't think it's a buy. The big red flag is that Zip is trading at the, uh, the formal level. And then remember, formal uh, buying stocks at formal level is never really good. There are breakouts uh, of stocks like that, uh, not at the formal levels. Uh, so uh, look, it's it doesn't show as incredibly good opportun buying opportunities. That's what I wanted to say. Not as when we bought uh, at uh, 38 cents at, and, and then when we bought it again uh, under 50 cents. So this is this is a very tricky situation. I think there's more value into all the stocks. Although if it breaks out, we could see uh, Zip running towards two, uh, $2 in no time, if it breaks out. Uh, the other risk is, if it breaks out today, let's say close around dollar uh, sixty, we still want to get rid of uh, tomorrow. Go through tomorrow trading session and making sure we don't have a what we call bearish engulfing. So I've seen some bearish engulfing and freak breakouts and wiping out a lot of traders. Uh, and a bearish engulfing would be a big red candle tomorrow. Okay, okay. A zip could go up. Uh, even further tomorrow, like tr go $1.60, $1.65 sort of thing, and closing below $1.50. Um, $1. that would be devastating, w wouldn't be good. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, if you wanted to um, to make this, um, you wanted to make a tr uh, like a proper trade, um, there is considerable risk that could happen as well. 
even if we have a breakout. I've seen that many times. So just be careful. Uh, buy a formal from area, buy a breakout. It's it's good but not great. Okay, uh, could attract a lot of institutional investors. Yes, uh, but it still poses a great deal of risk. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.